What is going on guys? Welcome to Greg Ols TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day. Two stories, three questions, let's go. Our first story of the day has to do with a foldable phone, the Vivo X Fold. We've spoken about the specs about this phone, but we're getting some official imagery. And this phone looks like it'll probably only come out in China, but check out the specs again in their official look at it. So you're looking at the main display on the left of an 8.03 inch display, 120 Hertz, 2160 by 1960 resolution, 1800 nits of brightness. Samsung's Galaxy Z Fold 5 probably won't even get that bright. The smaller outside display, which is bigger than Samsung's, much bigger actually, it's almost like a normal phone on here, 6.53 inches, 120 hertz, 2520 by 1080, so a 1080p plus resolution display, 1600 nits of nightness. Again, I don't believe Samsung's outside display will probably get that bright as well. So Vivo X Fold 2 should be out and announced very, very soon officially. Next up is about the Galaxy Z Fold 4, 5, and 6. Now, this is rumors, this could totally change. So I, I wanna bring this up though, cause it, it brings up potentially the future of the cameras of the Galaxy Z Fold, well, four is already up, but the five and the six. And I wanna, I wanna, I wanna warn you guys that this could be wrong, but if it's right, <sighs> how do I put this? It's not very exciting to do with the cameras. Let's check this out. So this, the information is coming from uh, Ravengas, who's saying that the Fold 4, 5, and 6, still no camera advancements. When are you going to put a periscope camera in the Fold Samsung? And he's saying that the Z Fold 5 and Z6 cameras will have the GN3 50 megapixel sensor. And he's saying we'll see this horrible GN3 next year as well. And, you know, one of the things that I... I it's not a huge pain point, but it's not obviously one of the bright things about the foldable phone is that the cameras are pretty average. They're nothing mind blowing. Don't get me wrong. You can capture a nice photo. You can capture a great photo, but it's not consistent. You know, you deal with something like uh, you use a, a, an iPhone, you get some really great photos, uh, especially the newer Pro Max ones. Uh, you take a Pixel and you get some great, amazing photos. Uh, even the S23 Ultra, um, it came close in testing, but I, I can just tell, like, I'm, I, I would 100% trust more and be more reliable than the Galaxy Z Fold 4 and obviously 5 and 6 as well. So if you're holding out for the 5 or the 6, and we've already talked about the 5 a lot in terms of specs, but if you're holding out for the 5 or the 6 because you want a better, much better camera, don't hold your breath. It's not that 50 megapixel camera can't take great photos. The Pixel freaking what is it pixel 7 pro i think that one has like a 50 or 64 megapixel camera lens so it's, it's not even the megapixels it's the algorithm and the software so hopefully which i i don't have high hopes for this hopefully samsung can like just revamp their algorithm software for their photos and really blow us away with the lenses that they're using and take these amazing photos all the time or most of the time because right now i'm just it's it's another reason to potentially, you know, you have the Samsung phone, if, if you're looking for, to, for a company that's gonna push the envelope or give you something feeling different and more improved, maybe it's the Pixel Fold, maybe it's the OnePlus Fold, maybe it's one of the Chinese manufacturers from like Oppo or, or Huawei uh, or Vivo, maybe it's one of them, but it's disappointing overall. What do you guys think about it? The five, Fold 5 and Fold 6, basically using the Fold 4 cameras. Let me know in the cam comments down below. Without further ado, Let's jump into our Q&A. Tom asks, uh, before you did the factory reset, did the backup, did you back up the phone app settings, et cetera? If so, how did you do that? Also, how do you transfer your backup to your back to your phone and how do you use smart switch? So uh, what I do is, since I have so many phones and I have multiple Samsung phones, I always transfer from my broken <laughs> Galaxy Z Fold phone to my working S phone, because my S phone is usually not my main phone. So I backed it up on this and I used a smart switch. Buddhist is asking, uh, what are you going to do when and if eSIM slash iSIM only phones come out and the phone breaks? I, 
I actually don't think it'll be that big a deal once it's once I do it every time. Um, basically, you would just have to either contact your carrier or log into the carrier app, like their app, and transfer the SIM that way. It shouldn't be that big of a deal. And our last question comes from Shark Lover. How much trade-in value do you think Samsung will give for the Tab S7 Plus when the Tab S9 Ultra comes out? My guess would be two or 300 bucks max. I don't think you'll get 400 bucks. I think it'd be like two or 300 bucks is my guess. You'd probably maybe be better off selling it on like Swappa or eBay, but I would guess it's probably gonna still come kind of close with the trade-in. So I'd probably say, I mean, check those avenues, eBay and Swappa, but ultimately you might wanna just trade it into Samsung for less hassle. Thank you so much. If you have a question, leave it in the comments down below with the hashtag question. We'll see you down the road.